Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is the walkthrough to OSINT exercise 007. On my website you can find a number of OSINT exercises to practice your skills. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, you can find the link in the description and give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed, well done, you should be very proud. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to OSINT exercise 007. Task briefing. The photo below was taken a few years ago in a beautiful city. Your task is to find the answers to the following questions. A. Where was the photo taken? B. In which year was the photo taken? And C. The big poster on the right contained a link to a website. What was the link? Click here to open the photo on a new window. If you click, it's a bit bigger. You still cannot see the website, so <laughs> no cheating there. There's no way you can zoom this enough to see the website. I'm sorry. So I've marked this exercise level. As for the beginners, the first would be easy, medium, the second, the third, perhaps hard. For experts, I would say the first is easy and the two might be medium. It really depends on your skills. Maybe you think it's easy, I don't know. Quick note, I did not take this photo. I do not own the rights for it. It's only here to be used for educational purposes. So let's start with the first question. I always put them in order from the easiest to solve to the hardest to solve. So at first glance, let's look at the photo without doing any image reverse search. There's already various indicators of whereabouts this is in the world. You know, this is a coastal city because you can see some water in the distance. It could be the sea, it could be in the ocean, it could be a wide river. We'll find out what exactly this is in a bit. There's also many flags, but they're not of much help because none of them stands out too much. They seem to be in a long row. It's also interesting that there's so many of them in one place though. Usually countries have flags on or near official government buildings mainly in their capital or largest cities. Alternatively, they can be found near places where large amount of tourists can be found, you know, making them feel welcome and all of that. <laughs> At first glance, this actually looks like quite a touristy area. I would go as far as guessing that these two men here on the left are tourists based on their backpacks. I would not be surprised if this one here had a very nice camera and very nice lenses on that backpack. Another very interesting thing is the pavement. It's almost all pedestrianized. There's some zebra crossings here. So this tells me that vehicles can drive past, but you have some metal poles, which stops them from just driving anywhere. You can find it on the other side as well. The fact that this man is looking left to me indicates that the vehicles will be coming from this side towards that side. And if you look closely at the zebra crossings, you'll notice that they're not painted as usual. They are made out of rocks. So you have the dark rocks and the lighter colored rocks. And if you start noticing around, you see that a lot of things are made out of rocks. In fact, you have a lot of patterns and it goes more there and everything seems to be made out of rocks, which is extremely unusual. In general, I would say, all in all, this feels like quite a European city. If we pay attention to the people, they all seem to be Caucasian with dark hair. They're not wearing very warm clothes, although it's cloudy, so it'll probably be a location where even in a cloudy day, it's still relatively warm. All in all, if we put it all together and think what European capital is near the coast, has warm weather, people with dark hair and beautiful patterned pavements, we'll get to the conclusion this is probably Lisbon and this is probably the Tej River. And we can confirm this by doing an image reverse search because it's always the first thing people do. But I want people to get used to first look at the image, try to guess and then see if you were right or wrong or if you're at least on the right track. So if you right click, I have an add-on, I've shown it many times before, it's just to do reverse image search because I do it so much. I'm not going to use all of them, it seems like a waste. Google search will probably give me a result since this is probably going to be a capital of European city, therefore we'll have plenty of results. So what we see here? We see this structure, which is very, very similar to this structure. In fact, I would say it's very likely the same. You have a long, 
path with water. We have this tall tree bush thing. We can be seen here as well. And you can see the patterns on the floor. So it's quite likely this is exactly the same location. In fact, you can see the same statue here. So this is also the same. So let's just click the first one and see what this tells us. And as expected, it tells us it is in Lisbon. And I already knew that because I've been to this exact spot many, many times. So it's a bit cheating, isn't it? But it doesn't just tell us it's Lisbon. It tells us exactly where in Lisbon it is. It's called Parque das Nações. So let's just copy this name and go to Google Maps and ask Google Maps to tell us where this is. So here you go, Parque das Nações, Lisbon, Portugal. First thing you can do is to confirm this is the river. So this is not the ocean just yet. This is still the river, Tej River. And Parque das Nações is quite a big park and I don't want to waste anyone's time. I'm not going to go around, scan the entire thing until I find the statue. No, because it already tells me the name of the statue. In fact, it says here, Estatua do Homem Sol, which is the name of the statue. So let's just make it easy for ourselves and copy again the name. Go there and just say, Google, do your job. Thank you. Here we go. You can have a photo, you can confirm this is the statue, you have here the flags, you have here the tall trees and the path. You can still see a bit of the patterns on the floor and the metal poles to stop vehicles from just driving across. So let's go back again and let's check this out on Google Maps because I love Google Maps. So let's go on a beautiful venture to a beautiful city. Off we go, and here we are. So because this is a European city, you have very nice 3D image. So again, you have the statue here, you have the tall trees, you have the flags, and look at this pavement. This is all done by tiny rocks, some dark, some white. Beautiful, absolutely amazing. And look at that one. It's Harry Potter, not to tell, come on. Unfortunately, this was Harry Potter, but this is the same building that had the poster. So we'll be looking at it in a second. So at this point, we can already answer the first question. Where was the photo taken? The photo was taken in Lisbon, Parque das Nações. If you want to be extremely precise, we can even go here and see if there's any... Oh, let's try this one. Okay, so if we rotate, we can see the statue here and you can see this is the pillar. So you can see the pillar here, see? And the person was likely on top of the escalator here when the photo was taken. So they were facing this way. So you can see again the flags and the trees and the beautiful, beautiful sidewalk made of rocks. Lots of lots of lot, tiny rocks. Look at that. An art form. Beautiful. So let's attempt to answer the two next questions. They are both connected and there are two ways to get the answers. You have a fast one and a not so fast one. I'll explain both because they're useful techniques in each path we take. And these exercises are about learning, not just answering the questions. So first I'll start with the longest route and afterwards I'll tell you how you could have reached the same conclusion in a much faster way. Okay, so the second question, in which year was the photo taken? So let's look at the photo again. The most obvious piece of information within this photo that would have changed over time is the poster. And that's why we have a third question on it, because I don't want people to miss it. <laughs> It's clearly an advertisement to something. At this point, I'm going to assume that everyone can recognize Tutankhamun. Although it's a bit blurry, you can still see the name. Here you go, underneath it. And of course, the bust of the most famous Egyptian pharaoh of all time. So now we know that at some point, there was some event related to Tutankhamun in Lisbon, perhaps within the Parque des Nações area specifically. We want to find out the year that this possible event took place. Because if we can place the year that this event took place, 
that tells us when this photo was taken. So let's do what I always do when I need answers. I just Google them. So let's try to Google Tutankhamun. Here you go. Yes, that's how you write it. Lisbon. Yes, go for that, please. So let's check the images to see if we can spot the poster or some information that could point us in the right direction. If you start scrolling, you realize something. Most of these results are completely irrelevant. They have very little to do with an event in Lisbon. And why is that? What exactly are we doing wrong here? We're not using the correct language. If you want to search for information about something in a specific country, you should always adapt your language. Why would the poster in Portugal be written in English? So let's just copy paste this to Takaman Lisbon to Google Translate and see how to spell this in Portuguese. So let's go for it. And I have here Google Translate already ready. And it says, this is how you write to Takaman Lisbon in Portuguese. I can tell you this is wrong, <laughs> but that's fine. Google will correct it in just a second. And I can already imagine Brazilian people are like, what do you mean? This is correct. This is not correct in Portugal. And this is our target country. So Google is like, oh, we're also including the results for this spelling, which is different from this spelling. And why is Google saying this? Because Google has identified we're looking for stuff in Lisbon. So all the websites here and in .pt, which is the international internet country code for Portugal. Tutankhamen is written like this and not like this. So this is the difference between Portuguese from Portugal and Portuguese from Brazil. Because Google Translate will always, always favor Portuguese from Brazil. And sometimes you end up with translations that are not exactly correct. But that's fine. We got there anyway. So let's do the same again and let's check out images. And look at that a huge difference in results. These results are much, much better than the results we were just looking at. In fact, I'm going to put them side by side so you can check it out. And here we go, we have it side by side, so you can see the poster here. And let's examine it first. You have the bust of Tutankhamun, and he's looking left. You have the word there, it says underneath Tutankhamun, and there's some golden bar banner thing underneath the name. And then you have some text, some of it is in white, and some of it looks orange, maybe gold as well. So everything matches the theme. And look at that, that is extremely, extremely similar. In fact, I would say that this is the same. Look at that. We found it by just changing the language. Isn't that amazing? So you already have some information here, isn't it? It already says here 2019. In fact, I have seen that number above. Look at that. 2019 so you have the same font you can see how the t has these things on the side that go down you can see a bit there not very well to be fair you have the banner underneath so this gold thing which seems to be the name of the exhibition and if you click it here let's see if we can look at it a bit better it'll say Parque das Nações. Look at that. Isn't it exactly where we geolocated this? So it is very likely that this event was actually taking place here. So here we go. We have answered the second question. In which year was the photo taken? The photo would have been taken in 2019. And now we just need to find the answer to the last question, which was what is the website that can be seen on this poster so we have seen this exact poster here didn't we oh look at that so let's see if we can find a better version of this one so we can find out what is the website with a bit of luck here's the same facebook page again so i'm just going to increase this again and let's check it out photos see if we can find it could it be this one yeah look at that Perfect. This is the exact same poster. And here it is, the website. Now you can read it. The website was www.tutacamon.pt. And that is the answer to the third question. But now let's find out how you could have done this in a much, much faster way. So let's think for a bit. We know this is a very big city. This is the capital of the country. And we know that the poster was located here. 
And what we have in big cities in Europe, unless we're thinking of Belarus or Germany. Let's grab the pigment and see if we can find the poster here. So it would be a different poster because this poster changes over time. But there is C more dates. However, in this case, you only have two of them. You have the July 2022 and you have June 2014, which has nothing. But that doesn't mean we cannot still find this information because this is not the only street view available within site. So let's try this one and let's look there. And now we're going to check dates and we have 2019. And there you go. <laughs> you have all the answers there. You can see here 2019 and you can actually read the website. If you reach the answers using this technique, well done. But I still hope you learned something by watching me do the other way. And if you did the other way, I hope you still learned that you could have done this way as well. So there's always multiple ways to get to the same result. At the end of the day, what matters is, did you learn something with it? As a final conclusion, where was the photo taken? The photo was taken in Lisbon, in Parc des Nations. In which year was the photo taken? The photo was taken in 2019. And what was the link found on the poster? The link was www.takamon.pt. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Stay tuned for OSINT exercise 008. It will be a quite an easy one. Thank you for listening. Please leave a comment. I really like reading them, especially if they're nice. If they're not nice, don't bother. <laughs> okay, thank you.